Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. Bonjour, les internauts. During World War II, the Allies would broadcast messages to the resistance, to those in occupied territory, those at risk. They would use short wave, medium wave. I mean, they'd use everything to get it off, and they would constantly change the frequency. Um, sometimes they would use codes. You've probably heard some of those in movies. They'd also play music and send messages of hope at times. And we're going to do a little bit of a reenactment of one of those tonight. So before we begin, please listen to these personal messages. John has a long mustache. John has a long mustache. The chair is against the wall. The chair is against the wall. The tower bell rings at three. The tower bell rings at three. Now for some music. Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Please, pay attention to the first four notes. Now on to some messages of hope. It is unconscionable that the federal administration is targeting innocent immigrant families with secret rage that are designed to inflict as much fear and pain as possible. We want our entire community to be prepared. No Angelino should ever have to fear being snatched from their loved ones. We are doing everything we can to provide immigrants' families with info and support ahead of the announced ICE deportation sweeps. Atlanta stands with our immigrant communities. Please be prepared. We'll always stand with families fleeing violence and do whatever we can to prevent the inhumane practice of family separation. Threats from this White House are only a distraction from its failings. Won't weaken our resolve. Proud that Baltimore is committed to upholding the American values of respecting the rights and dignity of every resident. President should understand that not only are these threats cruel and antithetical to our American values, they are making our communities less safe. In order, these statements were prepared by uh, the mayors of San Francisco, LA, Atlanta, Denver, Baltimore, and DC. It should be noted that LAPD put out a separate statement saying that they were certainly not going to cooperate with ISIS raids because, well, they're not vicious soi. Can you imagine how reprehensible something has to be for even LAPD to be like, no, man, we're not, we're not getting involved in this. Most of these messages, they came off of uh, Twitter. I guess that's the new Radio London. London is calling. Um, like many criminals before him, the president has issued a threat, an ultimatum. Comply in two weeks or we go after the families. That's the American way, I guess. The one thing I think everybody should take away from this is that, no, it's not the same as Nazi Germany. History doesn't repeat. It rhymes. And this is certainly carrying the tune. We are in occupied territory. The front line is everywhere. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.